and welcome back. Today I'm looking at My Manager 2020. I'm doing some updates. I've done a previous tutorial just on the basics in eight minutes to get you up and running. But today I want to look at timeline quickly. So we could start in a timeline mode or, or standard map. I'm going to select standard map and we can create task info through this and select create. So we need a topic. So let's just say you've got a project to do. Say you've got a project on a book to do. Now to create a little branch off it, select the little plus button, or you can use the insert or the control plus enter key. So there's my first option. So project on a book. So the first thing I really need to do is research. So I'm going to type research into there. Click back on the middle and create another little branch off of there. And let's put in, let's just say creating a draft. Again, click back on it again, little plus. And I'm going to put in there referencing. So there we go. So we've got a project to do, but all we've got is research, creating a draft, and referencing. This is where we use the task info. So we come to the right, we've got a few options here. Now I'm looking for the option that says task info, task pane, and open it up. Now we're ready to go. So I could click on research. Priority of your research, click the drop down menu high priority because you can't start anything without research and then progress well I expect that to be a hundred percent done before I even start creating a draft and now we're ready to add the dates so I'm going to tap the temp if I click the little calendar so I'm going to start on the 10th which is a Monday I'm fine with that now how long am I going to spend doing it now I can click the calendar here and I can say right I'm going to spend to the 14th which gives me five days See here, five days. You can change that to anything you want. So resources, I could put in web library and internal Moodle. And now I'm ready to go. Now if I tap off it and come to your actual map, you can see the research, the time, the days I'm going to spend my resource will be the web library internal Moodle. So there's one. Again, I'm going to create the draft, come up the top again. This time, obviously, I've got to do my research before I can create a draft. So this is going to have to be the following week, 17th. Again, how long am I going to spend doing a draft? You might decide, actually, I'm just going to spend two days or three days. And then resources again to do your draft. You might just use Word. And we're done. Tap off that. So this is how quick you're creating a task management for yourself. Once you've created your ideas, once you've created your tasks, we come up the top here and select task. And we've got an option that says schedule. So I'm going to select show schedule view. And this will bring up the schedule view. You can see the dates here. So we've got your research you're doing on the 14th. And on the 19th you're creating a draft information now we can jump back and forth if we want so if I actually go to view I can jump back to map again outline view schedule as I showed you and I can even go to a gank chart and if I actually open this up I don't know if you're familiar with gank charts or project management so remember we just start the basic map but there's my research at the top there five days duration progress I need to be done hundred percent come along here you can see the five days here and if I hold the left button actually I can drag that say you don't start on the Monday you're actually going to start on the Tuesday something come up so you can push that along and then create the draft you might decide actually I'm going to leave a few days and start that a bit later and then you can edit this gank chart with the edit option but I'm going to select back to map and then I can go back to my main map so there's just a quick look at creating task info and organising what you need to get done. Thanks for watching.